Go at this, oh, at the new handout, let me pull it up. All right, so, um, so under do put, um, cross out and say just put in class. Cross out the do. I'm just going to do this in class. We'll do this in class together. Okay, so um, we, we read through the translation of, of rational functions. Um, so remember, this is our basic one. f of x equals 1 over x. It has a hole at, centered at 0, 0, and that we have our little cross of asymptotes that run through that. Graph those first with a hole in the center and those little dotted lines. So wherever your center is, you're going to have a hole there, and then your lines go through it. And then it makes everything else easier. Do you know what I'm saying? So here, we're going to, you're going to, you're going to graph these. Oh, these are already done. So yeah, I'll do it to the asymptotes. So figure out your, where your hole is. I'm not sure I might figure out where my asymptote is. So let's say my asymptote's here and there. Right, so then my hole would be kind of here. Oh, it's x over. This is weird. Oh, yeah, so they, they didn't give us 1 over. They gave us some strange things. So this is just um, finding your range. So figure out what your range is. Figure out what the vertical asymptote is. Um, figure out your domain, your range, vertical asymptote, and horizontal asymptote. This is just what we're doing the first, the first handout. So this is um, you know, fairly straightforward, that first one. <coughs> the second one. Same stuff. This is just review. I sort of like maybe we should do this next class because it's kind of review of what we just did today. Do you want to wait and do this for the next class? So we get some review of it. Um, you're like, what? Okay. So let's. Let's do this part down here. Um, referring to the, 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 the supplement we just did. So we're on number three. Is, there, is, there, is there everyone on the right page? Yes, no? Yes. Number three. This is the second page, page two. Is everyone on page two? Yep. Towards the bottom. I was not on page two. We're waiting for everybody to get on page two. Everybody get on page two towards the bottom. Number three. Okay. Um, if you compare example, if you did uh, in example one, this is our original function, and we translated it over here. What did we notice? How did the horizontal translation affect the domain and vertical asymptote? So here, look at the one we just did. What was my, what, what's my domain now? X can't be what? Look at it, we just did it. You can pull your sheet out if you want. X can't be, what can X not be? Two. Two. And what was my vertical, what was my horizontal asymptote? One. Uh, that's the vertical one, sorry. Oh, so you're right, that's my horizontal one. Uh, what was my vertical ass ver what was my, my vertical asymptote then? X. Let me, we just did it. Let me go back. So X there cannot it is. equal two and Y cannot equal one. Yep, what's my what's my my vertical asymptote? X can't equal what? X cannot equal 2. X cannot equal 2. So everyone see this? Does everyone remember this? We just we literally did it five minutes ago. Okay, 
Should I send this? Should I have you all do it as homework instead? Because I'm not sure that people are understanding it. So if you did it on your own, you would understand it better than me just giving you the answers and you writing it down without understanding it? Well, I feel like you were more confused with the fact you had to refer to a different packet. I thought we were going through the same packet. Oh, right. So yeah, so it, yeah, it is referring back to this packet. Yeah, it actually is. We're just referring to the front page on this packet, right? No, we're referring to the front page. We're referring to the previous packet. Oh, we I finished. thought we were referring to the ones on the front page here. Yep. Wait, we're not doing the new one? We are doing the new one, but the new one refers to the old one. So you need to have your old one handy. Oh. Keep your old one handy. In example two, this was our shift right here. What did you notice? This is our shift right here. This one right here. So my, what can X not be? X cannot be, X cannot be zero. Okay, example two. Everybody look up at the picture I have up there. Here's my new shifted graph. Uh, my domain, let's do our domain. Domain and range. What's my domain for this one right here? What can X not be? Zero. Zero. Is everybody, is everybody following me this, with this part here? What can Y not be? Two. Two. Y cannot be two. What's my asymptote? What's my, what's my vertical asymptote? X is what? X is zero. What's my horizontal asymptote? Y is two. Y is two. Are we answering questions in the new one now? Um, uh, you're not answering questions at all. Oh. I'm just asking you oh. here on the old one oh. what it is. So on the new one, the question is, how has, when I shifted it up to, what did that do to my, to my range and to my asymptote? Everybody look at me. Here's my, here's my graph. If I shift it right to, what happens to my asymptote? It shifts right to. It goes right to. Mm -hmm. If I shift it up to, what happens to my asymptotes? It moves up to. It moves up to. Is everybody on board with me? Mm -hmm. If I shift it back one and down two, my asymptotes, my, this asymptote goes back one, this asymptote goes, goes down two. Everybody on board with that part? That's what we're saying. Yeah, so you just look at the function, right? There's on this. Right here, and just look at the inside. It goes right to, right? Mm-hmm. So if I ver if I if I if I translate vertically up and down, that means the asymptote, the range and asymptote go up and down, go up as well. Range and asymptote. Go up, go goes up, go goes up two. Or went up two. Right, I shifted up two. They they go with it. Um right, so don't worry about C. I, I, it's the same thing we said. Okay. Uh, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to shift them. So the first one, you're going to shift it one unit left. Mm -hmm. 
And then you're going to sketch it, draw your asymptotes, write down um, the equation of the asymptotes, write down your domain and range, and then also tell me what the what the graph, the new graph is. I want that also. So see it says domain and range down here. So you'll shift it, draw on your new asymptotes, label the asymptotes with their equations, don't forget that part there. Draw out your equation and then um, also give me the new function. So g of x equals, and then the new function, how it's shifted. So let's see, if it's, if it's left one unit, what should it be? What should the new function be? We'll do this once again. G of x should equal what? Left one. Is that on the inside or the outside? Inside. Inside. So inside should be what? X what? Left one should be? Plus one. Plus one. Okay. Next one over here. Down two. G of x equals. And then write down what it should be if you shift it down to. Everybody do that. And then go ahead and um, graph, your new, graph your new functions, find the asymptotes, and the domain and range. Wait, insert this right. line, insert that, the x line at this point, so it looks like x plus 1. So let's take a look at what we've got. Um, down 2 is on the outside, so it's going to be 1 over x, and then the outside minus 2. Okay, so the first function, we're going to go left 1. So we start off here, my left one from here is over here, left one. I'm going to draw in my asymptotes. And graph it. So over one, down one, I'm here. It's going to peel off this way and up that way. Over one, up one, there's my other point. I'm going to peel off this way and down that way. Um, now I, I need it. So what can x not be? My domain. is x can't be <coughs> negative 1, and my range is y can't be, and y not be, 0. So that means that I need to, when I label my asymptotes, my asymptotes are going to be y equals 0. So which one's y equals 0? This one, y equals 0. And then which one's x equals negative 1? That's this guy, so this is x equals negative 1. It's easiest to do this right with it. Kind of as you go. The one on the right, was that it for that part? Yeah. The next one. So this is going to be down two. So from here we go one, two, down here. And I'll put in my asymptotes. So then graphing them, I'll go over left one, down one. That's my new center there. Right one, up one. So I'm new center, so my, my point there and my point there. Um, and then domain is x can't be 0. My range, what can y not be? y can't be negative 2. Negative 2, great. So that means that this line is going to be then y equals negative 2, and this line must be x equals 0. All right, and then we have one below that. So we're going to go 2, we're going to go 2 right and 1 up right there. Put in my asymptotes. Yeah, I'll do these in different colors so that I can clear which one's which. Um, so I'll graph my line. Right one, up one. Goes up this way, down that way. Back one, down one. That point goes up this way and up that way. 
Good. Um, my domain is x can't be x can't be. What what did x not be? Two. Two. Strange. Shania, what can y not be? One. One. So then my line, my asymptote says it's going to be x equals two. Which one's x equals two? This fellow right here is x equals two. And then which one's y equals one? This one here. Uh, last thing is what's oh what's my what's my um, what's my um, new function g of x equals on the inside I have an inside and I have an outside the inside is yep x I want right two so minus two on the outside it's going to be plus up, one. yep plus one on the outside <coughs> up one. Next page. So all you have to do is say how it's been translated. Left or right, up or down, and how much. So I will give folks a couple minutes to do that one. Remember, left, right to the inside, up, down, I was on the outside. So this one's on the outside. So this is going to be Natalia's, oh, sorry, David, this is which one? What's this one? Down three. Down three. This one is on the inside. So Natalia, which one is this one? Right three. Right three. Right three. Yeah, right three. Because it's remember on the inside it's opposite. Um, next one, seven A. Um, Alex, what's this one here? Um, right five up two. Right five up two. Um, next one, Shania. Uh, B, 7B, look on your paper. Seven B. The one we just did. Yeah, Okay, I'll come back to you for the last one then. Um, Ryan, seven B. Uh, left one up one. Left one up one. Okay, and Shania, the last one, seven C. So that would be, it's on the bottom, it's, so it's 1 over x minus 2 minus 5 on the outside. So what is that? It's to the right 2 down 5. Right 2 down 5. Alright, next. Oh, actually, we're, um, yeah, we can look at this one really quickly. So this one, very quickly. Um, how, what what draw? What's our new center for this one? I want to find the new center. So if you need to draw the lines in, find your new center. Ellen, draw your lines in. Find your new center. So I'll I'll make a mark where the old center is, so you can find the old center. So this first one, how has it been shifted? What's the shift? Yeah, down one. So I'm going to write the function for down one. This one over here is left three. So I'm going to write the function for left three. And then you can go. Did you get it? Let me see it.
down one is on the outside. is on the outside, so y equals 1 over x. And then the outside I'll put minus 1, down 1. This one's left 3, so y equals, it's on the inside, 1 over x left is plus 3 on the inside. Are the exams graded yet?